Welcome to a very important episode of uh, Screenwriting Uncut. In this video, I really want to address the elephant in the room. Uh, the one challenge that pretty much all writers face pretty much every day to some degree or another. Um, this particular challenge will quite literally kill your career and destroy your dreams and crush your ambitions. And in some ways, I would say rob you of the life that you probably should be living. And that is procrastination. Um, procrastination seems like such an innocuous thing. Um, I'm not feeling in the mood to do it today, so I'll do it tomorrow or next week. <laughs> or I'm so busy with my life, I'm getting married or I'm moving house or I'm moving the country, I got a new job, whatever it is. Um, we think that we can't do it today, so I'm going to put it off until next month or next year <laughs> or whatever. Um, there's, a, there's an assumption in procrastination that is very insidious and that will uh, really harm you as a, as a creative person. And that assumption is that tomorrow or next week or next month or next year, uh, circumstances will be different. That, we, that the, the motivation you're lacking today will be there then. Or the chaos in your life right now will be gone. Everything will be calm and quiet. Um, but that really ignores the reality of life. Life is a lot like a movie <laughs> where you have the main character who sets a goal for themselves. And as soon as they start going out on that goal, <laughs> obstacles come at them. Fast and furious. The more, you know, the, the harder they want that goal, the more obstacles uh, come their way. So uh, you will not be in any different a place next week or next month or next year than you are today. So the skill level that you're at right now when it comes to creative writing or screenwriting or anything that you actually want to be doing, the skill level you're at today, when you procrastinate, you take that and you push it into the future. So if you're a beginning writer, a year from now, you're going to be a beginning writer still. You're going to face at that point the same exact obstacles and challenges you would be facing today. Um, so what I really want to do is... Um, in this video, I want to let's obliterate procrastination. <laughs> let's really just wipe it off the board entirely. If you, I think you should bookmark this video and come back and watch this whenever you feel the urge to procrastinate, because there is actually a very specific scientific reason why you must write today, and that's what I want to talk about in this video. Uh, let's start off with an analogy. <laughs> Imagine that you'd never sat in front of a piano before. You wouldn't expect to sit down for the very first time and start playing like Beethoven. You just, you, you wouldn't expect to read a book, how to play the piano and go, I got this, <laughs> and sit down and start playing like a master. Of course not. You would expect to sit down for the very first time and start making a bunch of noise and it sounds awful and you scare everyone else out of the room. But as you continue to practice, as you continue to uh figure it out, you start to realize where the keys are and then what sort of key combinations make what sort of sounds. And the more you practice, the more you develop, the more you get good at it. Um, imagine a, a person new to piano and they were going to say, I'm only going to practice once a month or I'm only going to practice once a year. You can estimate, <laughs> just visually guesstimate how long it would take them to become a master at that craft. It's going to take forever, right? If they practice every single day, well, what if they practice hours every single day? Well, you're going to, you're going to improve commensurate with the amount of time that you put towards the given task that you want to achieve. So in some ways, um, procrastinating isn't just taking where you are today and pushing it into the future. It's actually taking where you are today and stretching your ability to become good at that thing indefinitely into the future. The longer you, the more you procrastinate, the more you push that into the future. Writing is a very unique, very specific, very nuanced craft. And writing involves so many different parts of your brain. We're using language skills. We're using grammar skills. We're using uh, memories of the past and imaginations of the future and trying to blend and pull together different thoughts and ideas from different sources and piece them together into a piece of writing that's going to elicit an emotional or an intellectual response from an audience or a viewer or or the other person and we're not born with that skill this is not something you come out of the womb going hey i'm a writer you know it takes 
<laughs> it takes time. Sorry for that image. It takes time and energy to um, to get good at this craft. I I'm a huge fan of neuroscience. I'm I'm a I'm a science geek a little bit, and and um, I'm fascinated by imagination and creativity, and you know where these things come from, and how we can how we can improve them, how we can develop uh, the crafts, and um, so as a result, I'm fascinated by things like neurons and axons and the synaptic connections and how the electricity goes back and forth and which parts of the brain serve motor skill functions. And all, I love all that kind of stuff. And one of the things that we have um, sort of learned about the brain is that it, it, it has what is known as plasticity. Plasticity is basically the structure of your brain, the, literally the structure of your brain changes based upon the things you do and the things you think about. Like, think about that. Your brain literally changes. It reorganizes to some degree based upon what you do and what you focus on. So let's say you're trying to write and you've never written before, or it's like playing the piano, never playing before. Your, your brain doesn't know how to do it. The motor skills, the brain skills, it doesn't know how to do to achieve this skill that you're trying to do. So the first time you write something, it's gonna sound pretty lame, <laughs> or uh, the first time you play the piano, it's gonna sound awful. But as you do it, your, your neural connections start strengthening. Oh, this works, and so we're gonna strengthen that connection. Oh, I can do it like this, strengthen that connection. And as you do it over and over, you're basically taking a connection and, and making it stronger, making it uh, better. There's actually a chemical compound that forms around uh, synaptic connections that are used most frequently. It's called a myelin sheath. It's like a it's like a tube that uh, that basically creates almost like a super highway, so the electric impulses can go back and forth even faster, even more powerfully, and, and achieve the thing that you tried to to do uh, faster and more effectively. Imagine if you were in a forest, right? And you're on one side of the forest and you're trying to get to the other side of the forest. Very dense forest. There are lots of trees. Once you're in it, you, you can't see how to get to the other side. As you go through, to get from point A to point B the first time, it's going to be a very circuitous path. You're going to, you're going to go astray. You're going to come back and you're going to sort of finally get there. It's going to take a lot longer and be a lot more complicated to get there. It's like the first time you do anything. But then as you go back and you do it again, you go, no, it was over here. And you can start to make a shorter, more direct line. And as you do it again and again, that line gets more and more direct. Eventually, maybe you'll even remove some of the trees so that you have a clear path. Maybe eventually you'll build a road or build a highway so that you can zip back and forth. And that really is pretty much how your your neural connections work, how that mental, how the mental framework happens. So when you take action, when you do something, when you when you when you write today, right? You're you're firing those connections, you're strengthening that pathway. When you procrastinate, you, you're 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 using those same neural connections on something else, on whatever it is that you're procrastinating on. So as you've strengthened those connections along the way, those connections will start to dissipate. If you don't continue to take action, it's like if you ever used to speak a language when you were young, um, but you've forgotten it all now. It's because those neural connections have gone on to do other things, more or less. I mean, I'm simplifying, of course, but that's, but it's more or less the essence of what's happening. You're, we, we don't have those strong neural connections anymore. The way to improve on a delicate craft like writing or anything... Uh, is to take consistent action to do that thing. That's why you can't put this off until tomorrow. You can't put this off until next week or next month or next year. You must write today. Take action today to make this happen. I know you I know you don't want to write today. I know that you're not feeling the urge. You want to procrastinate. You want to push it off. But when you're feeling that urge to procrastinate, realize that you're actually breaking the very mental neural connections that you need to develop to achieve that goal. You're making it impossible for yourself by procrastinating. Not just, not in a way, don't feel guilty about it, but just feel like, let this be an inspiration for you. Let this be a way to say, you know what, I'm not going to procrastinate because I, I want to get better. It's okay if I'm writing garbage. It's okay if this is not 
this does not appear to get me where I'm trying to go. I'm strengthening the connections. I'm developing the habit. I'm building the pathway that's going to make it possible to achieve this goal, this dream, this ambition, this skill of whatever it is. So you cannot learn this stuff from watching these videos. As much as I appreciate you being here, you're not going to learn from watching this. You have to take action. You have to take consistent, focused, deliberate, targeted action to get where you're trying to go. So I hope this video is uh, helpful and inspiring to you. Thank you so much for, uh, for joining me. And please, you must write today. If you want to get where you're trying to go, you have to take action. So I would love to have you join us in Fast Screenplay. That's what, you know, that's what Fast is designed to do is give you daily step-by-step -step action to build those neural connections and strengthen them as we go through the process. But whatever you do, however you get there, take action today and, uh, and follow through because the goals that you have and the ambitions that you're reaching for are, are valid. That's what your brain is here for. That's what you're designed to do. Don't, don't let the life that you should be living pass you by because you chose to procrastinate. Take action. And uh, thanks for joining me. We'll see you next time.